Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, betting it all on a spin, the story of Ashley Revel. And just before we get started, I do want to say that this video is brought to you by Mack Weldon, the most comfortable daily essential clothes you'll ever wear. Mack Weldon make amazingly comfortable clothing, all made with premium fabrics. And you can get 20% off at MacWeldon.com by using the promo code BRAINFOOD, one word. Imagine getting the idea to one day sell everything you own, take the money to Las Vegas, and bet it all on a single spin of the roulette wheel. It sounds crazy. The risk of losing is very real, and you could very well be walking away with just the clothes on your back. In fact, the chance of winning in an all-or-nothing red-black bet on an American roulette wheel is 47.3%, 48.6% if you're playing on a European wheel. Well, that's exactly what Ashley Revel of the United Kingdom decided to do. He sold everything he owned and netted about £76,840. That's about £105,400 today, or about $164,286 American dollars. He took this money and he bet it on red in Las Vegas during April of 2004. 32-year-old Ashley Revel's journey to risking his life savings in Vegas began, by his own admission, over drinks in a pub with friends. One friend brought up the idea of betting everything on a single spin of the roulette wheel, and the slightly inebriated group agreed that it sounded like a good idea. Despite the conversation being alcohol-induced, the next day the idea stuck out in his mind. He later told The Telegraph, I thought what an amazing experience it would be. At the time, I wasn't married, I didn't have kids, I was completely single. It was now or never. It should not be surprising that not everybody supported his plan, and both of his parents opposed the idea. Revel's father Mick told his son that he was a naughty boy, that he shouldn't go through with it, and he should work like all the other kids do. Ashley simply spent time convincing them to support him in the endeavor. His father caved first, but his mother took a bit more persuasion before agreeing to support her son. So he took the next step and began selling all of his possessions and raising a bit of extra cash any way that he could. He sold his BMW car, a Rolex watch, golf clubs, and even sentimental items were sold at auction or at boot sales. Some items were harder for him to part with than others, especially soccer trophies and a cricket jumper that he received while playing in high school. Afterwards, Revel admitted that he regretted selling those items. Eventually, a television crew from the British TV channel Sky One heard about his plan and created a TV miniseries titled Double or Nothing. Tallying it all up after selling everything and acquiring funds from other sources such as being sponsored to change his middle name to Ashley Blue Square Revel by a UK online bookmaker, he managed to compile a very respectable total of £76,840. With the money in the bank ready to be wired over, he boarded the flight for Las Vegas with the camera crew, his friends and his parents in tow. He didn't even technically have the clothes on his back at this point, as what he was wearing was a tuxedo he rented specifically for the occasion. Plans to place the bet at the Hard Rock Hotel fell through after negotiations broke down with the casino. However, the owners of the Plaza Hotel and Casino seized the opportunity for publicity and agreed to host the roulette game. However, directly before he placed his bet, they told him that they did not advise that anyone, including him, go through with something like this. Despite all the risk, the night before making the life-changing bet, Revel slept well and later said he did not doubt his decision to go through with it. Despite the odds being technically slightly against him, he stated, Thinking back, it seems crazy, but I was so convinced I was going to win. I was literally going down there to collect my winnings. However, he had still not decided to answer an important question. Would he bet everything on black or on red? He waited most of the morning for a sign telling him which to choose, but none came. In the end, according to Revel, directly after the ball began to spin, the first thing that came into my head was red, so I just pushed all of my chips forward. With many family and friends there with him watching, along with the audience of Sky One's show back home, the ball circled the board before landing on a number seven, a red color. Revel had doubled his money on one spin, giving him about £153,680, or about £210,800 today, or $328,572 American dollars. He admitted after the experience that it was a mad thing to do, and I'm thinking back now about what would have happened if I lost. I'd have nothing to go back to, nothing to wear, but I'd still have my friends, my family, and they'd always be there for me. 
so they gave me the security to be able to do this. Unlike most who win big in gambling, Ashley decided that tempting fate once was enough for him. He declined to bet a second time and cashed his chips at the table and simply walked away. As for what happens after, Revel spends a small portion of his winnings on a motorcycle journey around Europe. On this journey, he met a girl while in Holland. He said, I took her back to England with me. We married, and now we've got two children. You could say that I have my bet to thank for finding me a wife. Bonus fact. One of the many viewers who watched Ashley Revel on the Sky One television program was Simon Cowell. Cowell was inspired by Revel's All or Nothing bet to create the TV show Red or Black. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and now let me tell you a little bit about Mac Weldon. <laughs> Mac Weldon make the most comfortable daily essential clothes you'll ever wear. They don't just make amazing t-shirts like this one, they also make underwear, socks, hoodies, and sweatpants. They are premium men's essentials with really smart designs, and as I mentioned in the beginning, all made with premium fabrics. It's also a super easy shopping experience. I got this one online, it was all super easy. I've mentioned before, this t-shirt is amazing at staying tucked in, which is something I've struggled with in uh, with, with undershirts in the past, so really fantastic stuff. And if you don't like it, which honestly is not going to be an issue, but if for some reason you really don't, you can send it back, money back, no questions asked. Not only does it look great, it performs well, it's good for working out, uh, just working in the office like me today, and just everyday life in general. Mac Weldon, they are just making better stuff. It's as simple as that, really. And you can get 20% off by using our promo code BRAINFOOD, that's one word, at MacWeldon.com. So thank you to MacWeldon for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching.